Hey, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about how to get transitions to play back smoothly. This is a really easy, really quick tip to make your life a whole lot easier if you want to add some fancy transitions that you might have downloaded from somewhere. The thing is, with some of these fancy transitions, they're using the power of fusion, like this color bar transition, right? It's using Fusion to animate these color bars and move this video and everything around, which is really cool because you can do some powerful stuff. But Fusion isn't necessarily the top dog in being able to play things back in real time yet. So how do we get through an edit like this where it will only play back sometimes and it just kind of has a little bit of trouble? And depending on your system, it might have more or less trouble. So if, after you play it back a couple times, it'll, it'll play back no problem. But that first one is a doozy. Look at this. Uh, mm, uh, so hard. Think about computer stuff. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're all right. So how do we avoid this silliness? Well, the good news is it's one click. We go up here in the top of our resolve interface under playback. If we take that down. There's something called render cache. Render cache is basically a way for Resolve to think about video that's hard to play back in advance so that it can play it back nicely. And this defaults to none, but you can check this box that says smart. And what it's supposed to do is figure out anything that is normally kind of hard to play back and think about it beforehand so that everything plays back smoothly like that. So it just takes a second for it to think about it. So we'll grab this one and drag that on and see we have these red bars here. And if we just don't touch anything, just let go for a second, it turns blue and then we're off to the races. No problem. One thing to mention about this is if you're not getting these red bars that turn blue over your transitions, it's possible that you don't have cache transitions enabled in preferences. So now if you want to adjust how this caching thing works, you can go down here to the settings cog. Click on that. And then here under master settings, we scroll down a little bit. There's a section called optimize media and render cache. And this is all about the render cache stuff. So you can change the media resolution and format. By default, it's probably going to work fine. Right now it's set to enable background caching after five seconds. So what that means is if you leave things alone for five seconds, you don't really touch anything, it's going to cache all of your stuff. So this is meant to be, you know, if you switch to a different program or you're you know, you're busy looking at your notes or whatever, it can kind of do the work to make sure that you can play back your stuff without kind of getting in the way. So you can set this to 10 seconds if you feel like it's happening too often, or one second if you're jacked up on coffee and you just need everything to play back. Another thing to mention is that there's this checkbox right here, automatically cache transitions in user mode. If you click this and hit save, and then we go up to playback, render cache, and turn it to user, what that's gonna do is only cache things that we tell to cache. So if we have some fancy thing going on here in Fusion, I don't know, do something crazy to this clip, right? When we go here, we can choose whether we want to render cache stuff or not. So we can turn this off if for whatever reason we don't want it to cache the render, we don't have to have it do that, or we can right click on something and go to render cache fusion output on, and now it'll make that red bar that turns blue and we're kind of guaranteed a little better playback. There are a few different settings to make sure are right. And if you do like to be in user mode for your cache, you can have these transitions automatically cache because you can't select a transition and right click and tell it to cache. It kind of has to do it automatically. That's why there's this button right here. But if you don't wanna mess with any of that up here in playback, just set that to smart. And now you can get smooth transition on anything that's a little bit more difficult to play back in the timeline. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you want to check out our transitions from ground control, they're right here. If you want more videos on DaVinci Resolve, make sure to subscribe. Okay? Okay. All right. I think that's just, I think that's great. That's great. Different word sets was. That is true. It is different words.